from Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. It's become like a common thing in the NHL for guys to fall in love with my sloppy seconds. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. And look at this story. This comes from a country music website called TheBoot.com. <laughs> Kenny Chesney is straight as an arrow. Just ask the more than 100 women he's bedded. <laughs> he was just telling that to Roberto Alomar the other day. Dude. <laughs> I am calling for Kenny Chesney. This is the health department calling. You know, Mr. Roberto Alomar? The uh, country superstar is opening up about the gay rumors. I hadn't heard about these. The gay rumors that started after the end of his short marriage to Renee Zellweger. See, that would be one reason to suspect that this guy is gay. Any guy who thinks Renee Zellweger is attractive... Any guy with money, power, and fame, and that's the best he can do? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. It says here, speculation was partly due to the wording on the actress's annulment papers, which cited fraud as a reason for their split. Chesty talked to Playboy magazine. And his reaction to the rumors went like this. He said, what guy who loves girls, he had to get that in. A guy who loves girls wouldn't be angry about that. He said, I'm pretty confident in the fact that I love girls. I'm not pretty confident in the fact. Okay. <laughs> There's no need to even get into the words pretty and confident. <laughs> I'm all about banging chicks. That's what I'm all about. Bottom line. He says, I've got a long line of girls who can testify that I'm not gay. Didn't uh, Rock Hudson have a wife at one time who testified he was not gay? <laughs> what does that tell us? <laughs> he says, there were years when I had a better summer than A-Rod. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> does that mean you uh, dated 50-something old hags? Does that mean you were doing steroids? I, what, what are we talking about here? He says he's been with over 100 women. He said, my first five years on the road were intense because I was the guy in college who never got laid until I started playing guitar. Says here, here for, as for the demise of Chesty's relationship with Zellweger, he says paparazzi are partly to blame, but... He doesn't shy away from taking some of the blame himself. He said, I panicked. There's no doubt about it. I did the only thing I knew to do. I ran. I pushed her away. I didn't have any clue as to what true marriage meant. I was used to committing to one thing, music. And then I had to totally commit to a second thing, marriage. I didn't know how to commit to both of them. <laughs> Fine. 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 You're you're straight as an arrow. Kelly. I am not gay. Uh, yeah, right. I know. Listen, <laughs> I know there are people out there, and you might be one of them. Could be for any number of reasons. Maybe you are gay, but you don't want people to know it, or maybe you're just kind of effeminate, or maybe you're a metrosexual, or maybe you have no social life and no one's ever seen you with a girl before. You ever know anybody like that? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, they've all they've got time for is, you know, Xbox and uh, sitting up late at night chatting with people or whatever, but they, they just never actually go out and, uh, you know, put the puck in the net. You know what I'm talking about? But there are people out there, you look at them, you think they're gay. And uh, they have a hard time, first of all, meeting chicks if all the chicks think they're gay. And by the way, guys, if all you have are female friends but you never have sex with any of them, that's probably because they all think you're gay. 
<laughs> Just some speculation on my part. I'm wondering if we have any of those people out there, men or women. Do people think you're gay? It doesn't matter what you tell them. It doesn't matter how you protest. It doesn't matter how you try to prove it. it doesn't matter how many people you sleep with or how many people you try to sleep with. It doesn't matter how many porno magazines you get at your home or how many sex toys you have. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. People think you're gay. If that's the kind of person you are, if people have ever speculated that you're gay, if you've ever had to protest, hey, wait a minute, what do you think, I'm gay? What do you think, I'm gay? That's right, Mike Piazza, you're one of those people, right? People think you're gay. Doesn't mean you are. People have said Tom Cruise is gay. I'm sure he's straight as an arrow, but people have said that. South Park did the episode where Tom Cruise wouldn't come out of the closet. It's outrageous. If you're straight, you don't want people saying that about you. Come on. So are, are you that person? Are you that person who has had to protest? Maybe you've had to change the way you dress, the way you talk. Maybe you've had to be seen in public with chicks just to make sure people know you're straight. If you're straight, but people think you're gay, Men and women both. I'll, I'll take on all comers. If you're straight, but people have speculated that you are gay, I want to hear your story. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. Like a show, tops of the afternoon in Southern California. You know it. We are at one 800 tom That's our telephone number. Do people think you're gay? Diego on the Tom Like a show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? This is Diego. I just said that. Oh, I'm sorry, man. How you doing? It's been a pleasure talking to you. Um, I've been listening to you for like 10 months, and I guess this is the... This is the guy exactly what you're talking about, you know, uh, I'm 29, I'm married, I'm a fashion designer, but I guess the way that I look and the way that I dress, people always think that I'm gay, especially girls, you know, they come to me and they ask me, the first thing that, I, that, that, that they ask me is, is if I'm gay or not. Really? So just, uh, <laughs> now, what makes, people, what makes women think you're gay? I guess just because I look clean, you know, I look clean, I love fashion, I love to look So you're good. saying straight guys look filthy? No, I'm not saying that, it's just like a, a lot of straight, well, I consider myself a metrosexual, you know, I fix myself really good, I like to have a clean cut haircut. Do you wax uh, the brows? Do you, do you do you wax the unibrow? Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> but is it good, you know, I love... I don't want to have a unibrow. I like to have a, uh, some really cool features on my face. So I guess that's about it. Wax on the unibrow. That would make me think you're gay. Really? Why not? Why? Because. What's the problem? Straight guys, a unibrow. Big deal. Uh, well, I, I guess. You know, like I say, I'm considering my, myself a metrosexual guy. So I guess I, know. I do that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, well, just that. You know, just put, put some words in there. You I don't really highlight. Like you know, wait, wait, wait. You don't highlight your hair, do you? Oh, no, no. I, I also have a um, really shaved head. You know, I probably have like um, one millimeter of hair in my head, so. Look at you. Yeah, yeah. You got the, like, what do you got, the A-Rod the a look? What are you doing? Uh, no, no, I just have the shaving hair. You know, I'm from South America, so I get a lot of people confusing me with uh, with Mexican, you know, but. Oh, yeah, you don't want to do that. What, what country no, are you no, from? No, 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 I think I'm going to lay in my hair grow, so I've just been here for. For years. So what what, what country? You, what? what, what co oh, thank you. What country are you from, Diego? I'm from Ecuador. Ecuador. Okay. Yes. So I've been. Um, I'm an immigrant here, you know. But I love the culture. I love what you preach, and I try to listen, you know, and try to learn everything what you say. Don't you be calling Diego a Mexican, by the way. <laughs> Them's fighting <laughs> words. Good. I know. We're different. We're different culture, you know. I know. All right, thank you, Tom. Can you blow me up? Of course I can. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. 
Let's say hello here to Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom. How's it going? It's going okay, Chris. Hey, so I just had a call. You know, I've been listening to you for a couple of years, and I think you're great. Thank but I you. Had a, I had to call you on this one because that, I'm that guy. You're, am, you're the gay guy? I'm the guy that's straight that everybody thinks is gay. Oh, you're the guy who's straight everyone thinks is gay. That's right. And what makes people think you're gay? Because I'm... Uh, because I'm good looking, and I got a, I got a great body, and you know it's that kind of thing. I see. Um, I, I talk to you like this. You know, I got a lot of gay friends. Um, I work in a, a particular industry where it's like you know pretty gay friendly. I live and work in a, a gay neighborhood area of, of the city, and um, you, uh, somebody described me once as a, a straight man trapped inside a gay man's body. So you know. But for example, let's take LeBron James. Now, LeBron James is a—he's certainly in great shape. Lots of people think he's a good-looking guy. He was on the cover of GQ. Nobody thinks he's gay. He's an NBA basketball player. I mean, he, he doesn't look gay to me. I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you remember those rumors about Isaiah Thomas, which were never proven, by the way. How about Isaiah and Magic? Every time they were play, they were kissing. That's together. what I'm talking about. Or something. And Magic got HIV. I mean, come on. What do you think? <laughs> but he didn't get it from Isaiah Thomas. Probably not, no. As far as, far as we know. What, maybe Roberto Alomar. No, no, no. Just kidding. Just kidding! God's sake. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone. little AIDS humor there. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Michael on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Short-time listener, first-time caller. Short-time listener, first-time caller. Yeah, uh, in high school, I was one of those guys that, you know, everyone thought he was gay because he had a whole bunch of friends that were girls. And uh, I would think you're gay if all your friends are girls. Maybe you want to look inside yourself. No, no, I'm not gay. The thing is, I would try to hook up with these girls, uh, you know, first time game. You know, I never, you know, never really had experience. So I would hang out with them and they'd be like, oh, you're like a brother to me. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. I'm telling you, maybe maybe you are gay. Maybe they've got gaydar. Nah, well, it's also because, like, the guys, I've never been to a fight at school. So, so getting like, into a fight, wait, getting into a fight at school, that would mean you're not yeah, gay? Yeah. Well, I mean, apparently, because, like, you know, guys would hit me up, and what I'd be like, school? nah, nah I don't What kind fight. of school do you go to? It was a high school. And everybody gets into fights there, except the gays? Uh, I guess so. But, I mean, like, I set my point straight when, like, I joined a crew and, you know, I got into a couple of fights and, you know, like, they're like, oh, okay, well, maybe he's not gay. Oh, so, you know. Geez. Yeah, it's probably all stupid teenagers, huh? Such <laughs> an enlightened point of view. I'll tell you what. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Dave on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Dave. Hey, how you doing? I'm hey, doing uh, okay. um, I just, I worked on a modeling agency for, uh, for a couple of years and, uh, I didn't dress that great. Like, my boss was always ragging on me for, uh, not not dressing all up with fashion or anything like that and uh you know i don't i don't i don't talk with you know the girly voice or anything like that and i didn't i mean i, I you know I, i've got good hygiene but it's not crazy um but everybody would assume it like got male models would come into the office and and start hitting on me and uh none of the girls would even talk to me really and uh just everybody i talked to would uh just you know automatically assume now because i worked at the uh the agency you know i must have been gay <laughs> now that's actually a great way to get laid is to work at a modeling agency. <laughs> yeah, except when everybody thinks you're gay, none of the none of the straight girls want to get with you. So that must mean all the other guys who worked there were gay. Um, you know, I was the only guy in the office. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. So did that mean they let you in when they were changing and stuff? I <laughs> no, but I, I got to do some of the measurements and things like that. Oh, I see. Yeah, it was, it was a sweet deal. I edited photos and things like that. It was sweet. Dave, thank you for that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to London on the Tom Like issue. London is not in London. He's in Dallas. Hello. Hey, uh, hello. What's up, Tom? Not much. I'm a, I'm a first-time, uh, long-time listener, first-time caller. Long-time li listener, first-time caller. I've, I am 16 now. I've been listening to you since I've, since I've been 14 years old, so I know all the rules before I even get out there. Very nice. But I have, but I kind of have the same problem at school. Like, I have a little brother. He, he comes to me and is like, everybody thinks you're gay. And I'm like, all right, you know, 
I'm still 16. I'm 16, so I really main thing. I'm not trying to get anybody knocked up. That so so to, that's that's why you, people think you're gay because you're not trying to knock people up. True. <laughs> so you're telling me in your school, if you're not knocking somebody up, you're gay. Uh, I guess so. Uh, as Jesus me being Christ. a like, African American male, I have a lot of things against me. So I'm just working hard right now, so I can watch. So I won't have to work hard later, you know. Right. Work but, hard now, so you don't have to work hard later. <laughs> True, and that's how my mom. That's how my dad is. He's like ten thousand dollars in child support debt that he's probably never going to pay off. Wow. Why does he just yeah. do it directly to you? <laughs> so I'm learning young. Because your mom wants to buy shoes with it. That's why. And my main focus is getting out my mom's house, getting myself an education, because I have all the time in the world for children. Then knocking somebody up so that then you can be uh, in arrears for child support? Is that the big plan? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. I figured. one eight hundred five eight hundred. 5800 tom That wasn't hard to figure out, was it? Let's say hello here to uh, Joe on the Tom Likey Show. We're talking to people that everybody else thinks are gay. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? It's going okay. You know what? My mom actually thinks I'm gay because I won't get any grandson. <laughs> so she says you're gay? Yeah. You know, my brothers, they know that I go out with girls um, pretty much on the weekends and so forth. And But my mom says, I won't give her any grandson. She thinks I'm gay. And she even told my godfather. Does she want you to knock somebody up whether you're married or not? Uh, actually, she wanted me to settle down and stuff, but, you know, I'm 28. I'm not going to settle down now. I follow your rules. <laughs> Good for you. So, I'm like, for me, it's like, okay, I'm still going to do my thing. I'm not going to get uh, married or hook up with anybody, but I'm still going to have my son. But just because I won't give her a grandson, she thinks I'm gay. Unbelievable. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. So if you don't fight with people in school, you're gay. If you don't knock chicks up and give your mom a, a grandson, you're gay. Unbelievable. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Al on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Tom? Doing okay. Yeah. So I got a story. Um, I went on this trip um, to Israel. I'm actually Israeli, and I went with a big group of people, and. Um, over there, I was, you know, trying to hook up with some of the girls, and one of the girls that actually ended up becoming my girlfriend at that point um, said that right before, right after we had sex, she's like, I thought you were gay the whole time. And I was like, what? You thought I was gay? And she's like, yeah. I was like, why? So she said, because the way you dress and you're like, you do your hair and things like that, you dress nicely, and that makes you gay. That makes you look gay, I guess. Wow. That, now yeah. you've got license to dress like a complete slob. I guess I, I guess so, but you know, I did bang her and another one of the girls on that trip. So I guess uh, you know, we found out who's not gay. Well, we all know women like having gay friends anyway. <laughs> exactly. Can you check me out, Kobe style? Yes, Al. I certainly can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Uh, Paul on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi Tom. Uh, this is coming from a straight man. Gay guys get mistaken, or guys that are mistaken for being gay, or just because they look gay, they they fit into that stereotype. If they uh, if they're a real clean cut, they shave their eyebrows. If they dye their hair, if they dress in gay clothing, guess what? They're going to be looked at as gay. Right. Yeah, I come from New York. It's as simple as that. Twenty three uh, seconds. To wear bright colors 23 seconds gay. yeah you don't want to look gay no so well, are you guys, a homo? If they, if they're complaining about looking gay and they're complaining about women thinking that they're gay uh, yeah, well, what? worse than look at worse than walking around la looking gay is looking like you're from new york that's the worst <laughs> thing you can do better to look gay <laughs> that is true you stand right everyone thinks now you're a guido instead of uh you know everyone believe me paul they're thinking that they're just not saying it yeah, well, no, it's it's not true. You got a lot of New Yorkers, but what I'm saying is, is I can probably guidos. say that no one thinks I'm gay. They're probably like when they see you, do they think you're gay? No, it's it's a man. If you look in the mirror and you think, you know what, I look like a man, or I dress like a man, or I'm not too worried about, you know, 
the, the colors matching and uh, I'm wearing uh, the exotic uh, colors, then, then you're not gay. That's as simple as that. So it's how you look. It's how you present yourself. If you want to, you know, go out and you want to get, uh, you know, uh, your eyebrows waxed or you want to have shaved arms and shaved legs, then you're just going to look like a metrosexual like everyone right. else. That's you just got to look gay. Yeah, there you go. So it's all these guys. If you got a problem with that, then... Uh, and that comes on you. You look like a big spread hot dog. You know what I'm talking about? You got a big hot dog between two buns. Tom. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. Your favorite afternoon radio program at 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Are you the kind of person people think is gay? Mary, first female caller here. Mary on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. I got to say, I love your show. I always love it. Always got to tune in. I actually, anytime I go to work, I have a. I work with a company where I can transfer around a lot, and I do so, and everywhere I go, the first impression that I give people is that I am a lesbian. I don't dress to impress anybody at work because, in my opinion, they're making the same money that I'm making. Really? So I don't need to try to find myself a man. If a man doesn't make more money than me, then that says something about him. I need a man who's going to be that Tom Likas guy. That's exactly what you need. And if I already know... True I'm not words were never spoken, job. darling. I apologize? Yeah, I said true words were never spoken, dear. <laughs> Definitely, Tom. And that's actually why I'm still single. Because I cannot find that guy. And what? I've born and raised in California. I've moved to Texas. I've been in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm back to California because I still cannot find that guy. Well, Mary, fortunately for me, there's not a lot of guys like me out there. <laughs> very true, very true. I'll tell you what, nobody would accuse you of being a lesbian after I crack your ass. <laughs> you know what, Tom? I'm ready for it. Really? <laughs> but if you saw me at work, you might think I'm a lesbian, too. You know, though, after I go out with my coworkers, they never have that impression of me ever again. Because when I go out... I dress like a girl. I am the girliest girl you can ever meet. Really? But I'm very independent. Actually, by your standards, I should be a lesbian. Do you have a nice pair of knockers? Actually, that's what gets me in anywhere. Really? Especially Vegas. I don't pay cover charge. I don't pay drinks because that gets me in the door. I never have to wait. What is your cup size? I am actually a 34 double D. 34 double D? Yes. Are you kidding me? Nope. Oh. I am. Yeah, you know, a lot of people don't think it by the way I talk, or sometimes by the way I look, but I am a hardcore Latina. Really? I am Mexican. <laughs> Is that so? Yeah. That would be horrible if you met a guy like Tom Likas, I'll tell you what. <laughs> the worst. You know what? You know what, though, Tom? I am that girl. I am Mexican. I cook. I clean. I take care of my guys. Really? So if you are not a Tom Likas guy, you don't stand a chance with me. <laughs> Sounds pretty good to me, Mary. I'll tell you what. Holy cow. 1-800. How have I never met her? 1-800-5800-TOM. It's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to David on the Tom Likas show. Hello? Is that a question or a statement? Uh, well, I actually called in because I was getting in my car. I heard your topic of the day about people who are mistaken for being gay. Yes. People think that they're gay. Are you one of those? I'm actually quite the opposite. I am gay, and people don't think that I am. I've been accused of not being such. And you're gay, but people think you're straight. And people accuse me of being straight because I've never really been in a relationship. I'm not attracted to uh, the flaming feminine gay guys. Um, I do, I guess, what people consider straight activities, whether it be going to sports events or watching NASCAR, <laughs> and I get the other end of the of the spectrum. So you're the gay NASCAR fan? Uh, one of, yeah. Believe it or not. Wow. 
<laughs> What's it like? What, like now I have to ask you, because we go to NASCAR, we love it. What's it like being a gay NASCAR fan? What, what would happen if the other 100,000 people at the race knew you were the gay fan? Oh, I'd probably get my ass kicked. <laughs> who's, no doubt. who's your favorite driver? Uh, Junior. Really? Yeah. Number 88. Back when his dad was driving. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Look at you. And uh, are you uh, going to the upcoming race here? Actually, I'm not. I couldn't get off work for the weekend. What a shame. Yeah. My, you'd also be the only gay guy in Fontana, I think, too. I uh, don't, don't, don't live in Fontana, but... No, but you'd have to go to Fontana to see the race. Yeah, and that would be a shame in and of itself. Well, you know... <laughs> David, thank you for that. Gay NASCAR fan. I thought he said Jeff Gordon all the way. You thought he said Jeff Gordon? <laughs> I like that Casey Kane. I just like his name with the K's. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. It's Mike on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, how you doing? How you doing? Doing good, doing good. So Tom, this is the story. Uh, I was at the Super Bowl in Fontana. What? You can't say that, for Christ's sake. Yeah. Zero tolerance policy. You say the F word even as an adverb. And we have to uh, hang up on you. Now, I uh, sat down with my own hand. I wrote a list of all the words you can never say on the air. If you go to myspace.com slash Tom Likas, it's all there. Myspace.com slash T-O-M-L-E-Y-K-I-S. Check out one of my blogs and you will see the list of words you can never say on the air. Apparently some people are just not educated yet. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Russ on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, hey. Hey. Hey, like, man, I, I'm i kind of one of the metrosexual guys. I used to do my eyebrows, lift weights, you know, get real fit. And, man, I'd have plenty of luck with chicks that kick it with exotic dancers and, you know, meet their friends and then do some of their friends. And, yeah, man, like, lately I've kind of toned it down. I look a little bit more masculine now, but... Yeah, man, I recommend that to guys, dude. Like, put put aside some of this. Hey, hey, hey! Two in a row, for yeah. God's sake. Oh, man, you can't you can't say that word. The F word is out. We haven't had two in a row in months. I think since we instituted the zero tolerance policy. Wow. No, Dean, that's not a first. No, no, we used to have that all the time until we instituted the zero tolerance policy. Then, then it slowed down. Yeah, since the policy began, I think it's a first. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. It's Anthony on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello. I want to make a statement that there's a bunch of people, a lot of people that hate will call people gay. I have buddies that will say, you're straight up gay, Anthony. I'm like, all right. But I could I could approach more women than them and handle more women than them. But they never can. <laughs> and I, w I want to say I learned a lot from you. And can you take me out with the bong riff? I certainly can. <laughs> We're talking to all the people that people think are gay. Do people think you're gay? No matter how much you protest, they think you're gay. If that's you, call me and tell me about it at 1-800-5800-TOM. Here comes Omar on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Omar. Uh, I mean, I'm your number one fan. I'm a long time hearing you and uh, first time calling. Thank you. And uh, people think that I'm Long gay, time uh... listener, first time caller. Sorry, people, think that I'm, uh, people think that I'm gay because I dress good, I do, you know, do my eyebrows, you know, do, I do everything, you know. What do you, what do you do? I do my eyebrows. You do your eyebrows? Yes. Do you, so get, them, do you get them threaded? Do you get on like Artesia and get them threaded? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah? One of those Indian joints? Yeah? Mm-hmm. And I'll put like... They I got all those, they got all those like Indian eyebrow straight. salons down in Artesia. You, you've done that, huh? Yeah. 
<laughs> but like, I don't know, like, people say that I'm gay because I kick it with a lot of, you know, gay friends and straight friends. So, like, they so don't you know got gay I, friends and straight friends. Yeah, you do your eyebrows. What else? And, and most of the time, you know, I, I with my little group of girls, that's it, you know. Only, like, two more guys with me, that's it. So all your friends like, are girls except for two guys? Yeah, and most of, the, most of my friends, you know, are girls, you know. Do you go to see chick flicks and stuff? Yeah, yes. Yes? Which ones have you seen? Uh, I live a lot around, you know, on L.A. Um, I don't know the names, really, but we go. You ever, see mo you ever see movies with, like, Hugh Grant or George Clooney? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I think you're gay, too. No, uh, I'm, not, I'm not gay because I've been, more, I've been banging up most of my friends. Yeah, well, they all think you're gay. They all think they converted you. Nah, nah, I don't think so. They don't say that. We, after after a night comes together, you know, we, we cook up, you know, get together, you know. We do a lot of stuff uh, every night, you know, since then. Right. And you go to nightclubs, and let me guess, you, unlike most American guys, you love dancing. Yes, I like to dance. <laughs> Come on, you are gay. No, I'm not gay. Come on. Look in the mirror, pal. You're gay. Nothing wrong with being gay, but come on. No, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with being gay, but I'm, I'm saying I'm not gay, you know? I just follow your rules, Tom. That's it. Yep. <laughs> well, I, I, what about the uh, threading your eyebrow rule? I just, I do it once, you know, once, once or twice. That's it. <laughs> Tom like it. 1 800 5800 Tom. Tom like it. 1 800 5800 866. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show at 1 800 5800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. We appreciate it. It's one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Let me ask you a question. That's a question I've been asking in case you're just tuning in. Do people think you're gay? You're not gay. But people think you're gay or lesbian. You just can't get the point across that you're not. Not that there's anything wrong with that. That's right. one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Edward on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, how you doing? How you doing? Um, well, well, um, yes, people do think I'm gay because, first of all, um, I'm I'm good looking. I'm tall, Hispanic, and not that, well, not that anything has, has to do with being good looking, but uh, I have a lot of gay friends, and uh, I actually practice jujitsu. Now, in jujitsu, uh, we uh, wear geese, which is like a karate robe, so we're choking each other out with the robes, and I've got all these uh, marks on my neck. You know, they look like hickeys, and. Uh, Pretty much when people ask me, like, whoa, you know, you got some uh, action last night, and my response automatically is, like, oh, it's because uh, John or, you know, or Bob or whatever did this to me. And they're like, whoa, you know, so that, that adds on to the whole being gay thing. And uh, people just... Well, couldn't a, couldn't a chick give you a hickey? Huh? Couldn't a chick give you a hickey? Exactly. I'm saying I tell them, like, yeah, I, you know, but I have I have marks from the, from the collar of the... Uh, the key and it looks like like hickeys you know and i tell him like yeah you know so and so did this and i mention a guy because i wrestle with guys so then they automatically think i'm gay like everybody thinks i'm gay wow <laughs> one 800 800 tom that's our telephone number let's say hello to queen on the tom like his show hello what's up father my uh, white father much darling <laughs> that's right <laughs> Man, I'm not gay or anything, but I just wanted to say if it walks like a duck, it talks like a duck, it's a duck. I have never seen a guy that looks gay that was not gay. If All it, that if it walks like a duck and talks like a duck, it likes to get ducked. <laughs> and I know, guys, I, I, there was a guy, he told me that he had dark circles under his eyes, so he put a little foundation under there, but he swears <laughs> he's not gay. He arches <laughs> his eyebrows, he gets his nails done with French tips. <laughs> he wears pink. <laughs> he gets his hair permed, all that kind of stuff. And sometimes when he says he's not looking all that fresh around the eyes, he puts on mascara, but he's not gay. Where does he live? What part of town? He lives in Los Angeles. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. And he's always getting into mysterious fights with men, just like for no reason. And I'm like, you're grown. You're like 40 years old. Why are you fighting men? Because it feels good. <laughs> 
Yeah, and I'm thinking like maybe somebody tried to out him and he did, he wasn't ready to be outed. All these mysterious happenings and all these strange clothes and stuff. But, <laughs> and I'm listening to all these guys calling in going, hey, people think I'm gay. I'm like, every last one of them are gay. <laughs> I have a gay cousin also that's a guy. And most of the guys that I thought was gay, a lot of times would end up at his birthday parties. <laughs> really? Yes. Oh, my. And I don't know, too many straight guys that hang with a lot of gay guys. Uh, that, well, you know, we have, uh, yeah, we're in the entertainment industry, so we know gay guys. Well, I but guess we, but we don't, But we don't get our eyebrows threaded together, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> then you know a guy is gay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> can you take me out with the big Snoop Dogg? I can take you out any way you like, dear. Here you go. Are you ready? One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Do people think you're gay? It's Mark on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, Father. How you doing? Doing okay, son. All right. Hey, check this out. I got one for you. So about six months ago, man, I uh, took a part-time job at a gay bar, right? Well, of course, everyone there assumes that I'm gay, which I'm not. Straight man. Well, uh, you would never believe how many hot girls these gay dudes bring down. Well, you know, call it about nine, ten o'clock at night. These girls start getting lonely because none of these gay boys want to talk to them. Well, Father, that's where I come in with my like like it's one hundred one rules and style, snatching them up left and right. <laughs> Don't say snatching them up. Oh man, I'll tell you what though, John. Sometimes it's crazy. You get a couple in there that you've talked to several times. And they want all your time and don't understand that it's a new flavor of the week and that it is just not their time. They become upset. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Mark. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to David on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? I'm doing okay. Long time listener. Uh, I try to use everything you say. You are like the coolest guy. You saved me times i love that uh but i have this friend he's not gay at all but he for some reason whenever we go somewhere they think that we're a pair or something they think that we're together he looks kind of gay she's not gay at all very straight but wherever we go we have a hard time girls give us a hard time and we get these bad looks from guys We've actually almost had came into a couple fights a couple times. It's just nerve wracking every time we go out somewhere. We actually decided together we separate. All right. And uh, so, what's the deal? How do you uh, how do you explain that you're not gay? Uh, <laughs> that's the hard thing. Whenever we get somewhere, it causes a ruckus, so we just end up leaving, or we have to separate. All right. Now you said it twice. There we go. Still don't have really the answer to that question, but does it really matter now? one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom, that's our telephone number. This is Wayne on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, pleasure to talk to you. I'm sure it is. Okay. A majority of my family assumes I'm gay because I follow one oh one. I don't bring home women. Last time I brought home a woman was in well, excuse me, a girl was in high school. So uh, what is it? They want to hear you humping and pumping in the other room? That's the only way they're going to know you're straight? No. See, the only person I could really explain it to is my brother-in-law. But I can't really go ahead and tell my mom that I'm banging chicks left and right. It's a little difficult. So they assume they keep on questioning me if I'm gay. You know, I, you know it's funny. I, you just tripped something in my own mind here, Wayne. Uh, uh, I My dad never exactly said he thought I was gay, but my dad had a conversation with me one time, and he and I had never talked about much of anything. Uh, and one time, uh, I came home from college, and he sat me down. He had a conversation. Here's what he said to me. Maybe this sounds familiar to you. He said, you know, uh, all I'm going to say is you're, uh, you're missing out uh, on a big part of life. You're missing out. You're missing out. Now, he never said what I was missing out on, and so I just looked him in the eye, and I said... I'm not missing out on anything. Okay, I. Okay, if my father told me, he said, you know, ma no matter what, son, no matter what path you choose, I'll, I'll always love you. I'm like, no, <laughs> let's not go there. <laughs> anyway, thanks for your time, Tom. Take me out old school. All right, Wayne, here you go. <laughs> 
one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Alex on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom. Tom. Alex. How's it going, man? You tell me. It's going good. Um, so get this. My friends think I'm gay because I have long eyelashes. <laughs> That's it? That's it. They look at me and they're like, oh, do you wear eyeliner? I'm like, no, <laughs> this is just how it was born. <laughs> I guess you could. I guess you could trim them. Yeah. Well, that's all I wanted to say. Can you please take me out travel style? Yes, Alex. I certainly can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to AJ on the Tom Likas show. Tom, how you doing today? How you doing? Oh, I'm great. I'm just listening to the show, cracking up right now. I have these four girls that I used to hang out with. When I first met them, I told them, you know, I got a couple girls that I hang out with, but whatever. And so they thought I must be gay because I'm not trying to get all up on them. And uh, so I played along, told them, yeah, you know, I'm gay. Ended up having a foursome with three of them. <laughs> He wanted to call me out and test me out and push me to the limits, and I said, I'm game. But I have always been convinced that chicks want to do all their gay male friends anyway, just because they think it's a challenge. I mean, the fact that you had a foursome doesn't mean they don't think you're gay. They think they converted you. <laughs> exactly. They're all high-fiving each other, and I'm just high-fiving myself around. <laughs> <laughs> Christine on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How are you? Great. I got 20 seconds, Christine. All right, I'm a female drummer, and I used to have short hair. I'm very cute. I'm not at all masculine or butch, but um, I used to get it all the time. It, you know, women coming up and asking me if I was gay because I played the drums and I had short hair. <gasps> yeah. I love men. Well, yeah, I think the last straight female drummer was Karen Carpenter. You know what I mean? Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.